of sky here, they, they'll be found uh, from southern America all the way down to Mexico. And unlike the other birds of prey, they actually hunt in packs. So what will happen is the, uh, the females will mate with two or three of the males. And then once the chick's actually hatched, none of the males knows whose chick it is. Uh, so she'll have two or three males going and getting food for her. Okay, just give it in a second. Thank you. Hey, babies. Alright, alright. Alright, Jazzy. <laughs> right, so this is our uh, second group of Asian short quarters. Harry, Hazel, Daisy, and Dougie. We're all just about a year old now. And also in the little photo here, we've got two little tiny babies that are now about two weeks old. And they're about this size. And they do, they have been actually occasionally, they have been uh, bringing them out because it's actually pour up inside the, inside the bottle. The peanuts don't come out. So you can pull them out one at a time. Therefore, it keeps them all to themselves. So you can actually see like the arrow shaping on her fur now. But that keeps her dry. After about five minutes she's out of the water again, she'll be totally dried off. So the bubbles that come up when they're underneath the water are the two actual uh, layers of fur. He's 15 years old, which is really, really old for a male otter. Um, they usually live to in captivity about 12 years, probably. But uh, he's got the 15. He's been a great little boy, as you can see. I mean, he's totally laid back. I wouldn't do this with any females otters because they'd be after my legs, after my feet, after my fingers. No fun whatsoever. But the males are totally laid back. 